Alright guys, 10.30 uh, a.m. about to deposit a check and get some money because I have some more equipment coming in today. Uh, I have a friend, Blake, coming to help me move some stuff out and rearrange, clean up the gym, make it nice. So super excited, always improving guys. And I found a spot, I don't want to say it necessarily, but uh, I don't want to jinx it, but there's a spot that I absolutely love. It's uh, 4,900 square feet and it's about two minutes down the road from my current gym and uh, it's just amazing so the only issue is that it's currently August and my lease doesn't end until December and so this week I'm gonna work on that and really try to uh, figure something out there but I've pretty much it's a, it's a fact that I will be moving in December somewhere bigger uh, so found this equipment amazing deal couldn't pass it up so I'll show you guys what it is once I get it later on so um, they should be here in about 30 to 45 minutes to get delivered so I'm gonna run in like I said deposit this and uh, get some cash here I purchased a little rack for some uh, 45 pound plates so that way when people do this leg press, the squat press and stack up all the plates they have somewhere to put them. So this is an Icarian slash pre-core, as you can see down there, super high quality, it goes flat and then it goes all the way to 90 degrees so it's very universal so I'm keeping that as the quote unquote flat bench. Then I have an incline and this incline does not go flat so that's why I'm keeping this one as a permanent incline and this one can be adjustable. This is the decline, so this is a new piece, and this is a very rare piece. Uh, it's hard to find, and I got it for an extremely, extremely good price. So this one is different than the red one outside because you can actually adjust it, as you can see here, and do um, decline dumbbell press. You can even set it up in the squat rack and do barbell press, or you have a decline bench out of this, which is awesome, because the other one is very steep. It's too steep to do uh, chest, really. It's more for abs. So. This is very universal. The last piece I got was a hoist bench press with the storage. So this actually has all of the storage guys and I picked up all of these plates. So um, like I said earlier, we're gonna narrow down the bumper plates. I already have a lot of these black 45s. So moving over to the metal plates, just to save room guys. And I'm gonna get the bumpers out again once I move locations. This is all the stuff I'm gonna be taking to my uh, storage and the squat rack over here. So. In total, I spent exactly 1100 US dollars, so $1,100 on the bench, the adjustable, the decline, and all these weights, and that little storage thing. Alright, what's going on family? Back to the commentary, and of course, me being me, I decided to go ahead and break in the two new pieces of equipment, so the decline and the flat bench. Uh, it was not a scheduled workout day, so it was supposed to be an off day, and I'm supposed to be hitting chest and tricep. Uh, the following day that this was filmed. So I just did a few warm-up sets and like one working set on each and not even working, just kind of messing around. But um, here's a warm-up set right here. But I'm really liking this flat bench. I love, love, love the storage it has. Um, it's really nice to just kind of have a little section where you can keep all the metal plates so it can be used for this whole kind of half of the gym. And then I have those black 45 pound plates that can be used on the squat press and uh, on the other side of the gym. So really trying to uh, stray away from using bumper plates until I move just because they're a lot bigger uh, they're a lot more colorful they kind of distract and they take out they take up a lot of room and they're always left on the floor they're kind of hard to pick up so it's just easier to store these metal plates for now and uh, like I said when I move in December I'll be sure to get everything I have out and it'll all be usable and functional so um, right now space is limited so I'm really picking and choosing what I can put with that said a lot of you'll probably you know wonder why I got a bench press uh, I got a bench press because it saves a lot of time, just time and just when you're putting a bench into a squat rack, a lot of times it's uneven, it's kind of off, it doesn't feel right. And bench press is actually one of the most used exercises in my gym, uh, just in any gym. If you go to a, you know any 
gym, they're going to have four or five, six bench presses, maybe two or three squat racks. And sadly, that's just the ratio of how things are. Um, and like I said, there's never really two people using a squat rack at the same time. So it'll work out. And if it doesn't, I'll move that squat rack back in. But like I said, in December, we'll have everything out. So it shouldn't be an issue right now. Everyone's loving bench press. Uh, I had a few friends come by from the UK. So they came, stopped by. They were not about body power, but they will be next year. And I uh, got some pictures, got to chat a little bit. And this is the next day here, if you didn't notice. Moving on to some chest and triceps. Uh, working out with a few friends, Travis and Nathan. Uh, Nathan is the guy that helped me do all these shipments. So I don't want to get into issues or problems in this video, but I pretty much post office held uh, my last three and a half weeks packages without telling me. So I had to find out the hard way. We had to re Nathan and I had to redo them all. So we pretty much didn't sleep for a long period of time, but got them all done, taken care of, and resent out. So. Uh, that's where everything is if you guys are wondering but um, like I said start with some flat bench all kind of rotating this was one of my back offsets I don't want to show you all more 275 pushing or heavier pushing like lower rep range uh, going for like 10 to 12 just last set kind of higher rep and here goes Nathan he was doing a 5x5 five five with 225 and so was Travis so uh, a comment I got is some of these weights the metal plates are feeling heavier than others so if you guys notice there's like the black one and then there's also the silver gray looking plate uh, people are saying that the black ones feel a little bit heavier so I'm um, gonna get a few more metal plates just to have them and probably like pick and choose what kind of feels the same weight and what feels a little bit heavier and just like that so if you don't know just because the plate says 45 pounds doesn't necessarily mean it is 45 pounds a lot of times it's 45 it's 46 uh, 44 and sometimes it's even like on the upper range like 46 point whatever 47 so if you if you know if you have two, four plates 445s which is 225 and you're having two pounds heavier that's eight total pounds heavier so on the bar so it can definitely make a difference moved on to some incline dumbbell press my last PR on this is four sets of eight reps with 80 pounds. So this time I was doing 85 pounds for four sets of eight. And what you're going to see is this is my third set. On my last set, I was feeling good. Uh, people, you know, were kind of messing with the 90s. So I was, you know, I'll do 90 for my last set. So I used the 90s and got in the zone. I ended up hitting 10 total reps uh, as opposed to the 85s, which I was going for for eight. So therefore, next time I do this, I'm going to go for four sets of eight with the 90s. And uh, so I can perfect my form, get a really good speed and uh, good looking inclined dumbbell press for four sets of eight. So uh, moved on to some tricep extensions and some pec deck. And that's going to conclude this commentary. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, really I'm just thankful for your support. Thank you for you know purchasing my clothes and just watching my videos, liking the videos, leaving positive, constructive comments. Uh, everything helps me. So subscribe, like the video, ChristianUsman.com for online training and apparel, and I will see you all later. All right, what's good, family? So my boy Moise picked up his brand new ride. I'm gonna show you all really quickly. 2014 Stingray in white. Looks so clean. See the Stingray right there. Chevy Corvette, American muscle. We can go for a little test drive real quick. Right, let's go. Red interior. This is so sick, man. So you can set it to all the different modes. Yeah. See, I like it in this mode just because it's not complicated, too complicated, and then I don't really need it to be in track mode. Is there a way to get out from there? Yeah, yeah, you can go that way. You can already feel like the torque. Gosh. It like whiplashes you in. Dude, that's what it was called. Uh, Nathan and uh, Richard were saying. They were going crazy. We just gotta be careful on all this stupid stuff, though. It's like. Really, really should go on. I'll go on Murphy. That's it. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yes. Just made it home and I'm absolutely starving. So I had dinner. Uh, two packets of Uncle Ben's rice, about 3.7 servings in total because the uh, packages are not completely accurate. Five ounces of grilled chicken, one serving of olive oil, and four servings of paste picante medium salsa. So that's what's for, that's what's for dinner. Uh, I had an amazing time at the gym today with some friends. Um, and drove that Corvette, which was insane. Just the torque on that is just crazy, guys. You can freaking gas it at like 2,000, 2,500 revs and just take off. So, so much fun. Uh, again, enjoy this and check in with you later.
just trying to make an imprint on the game. But you ain't no, you ain't no.